Okay, right. <laughs> Thank you to my lovely daughter and her friend Freya, who are helping me with this video, which is turning into a complete giggle fest. <laughs> I was meant to do a review of this lovely Karen Hewen Chameleon palette when I first got it a couple of months ago. However, basically we tried to do the whole palette in one go and it took about half an hour and then I realised that it has to be less than 15 minutes for YouTube and, I, um, and I'm still editing it. So I thought what I would do is do another one. Now we have the beautiful Freya ready to model for us. Now I've been using that. I've had this in my kit now for a couple of months and I've got an idea now of which ones are my favourites, which ones work and which ones a much of a muchness, if you know what I mean. Uh, because at the end of the day, the main controversy regarding this palette is that it is £65, which is a lot of money. But worth it, if, if it's worth it, if you know what I mean. So, what I've discovered is that my absolute favourite, in, in my opinion, is this one. Uh, it's the purple and yellow mixture. And uh, for those of you who use what one strokes a lot like I do... It's really hard to find a good yellow one. You know, there are lots of sort of green going into yellow or red going into yellow, to, but to find one that's actually got a good strip of yellow is really hard. And this one's got the neon yellow and the golden yellow next to it. So when you, when you use it, you actually do get a really vibrant yellow. So that is my standout favourite, but there are several others I really like. Um, this one is a lovely combination and this is fantastic for Halloween. Unfortunately, I don't know what their names are. But uh, so I would say those are my sort of, you know, my my ones I use the most of is the yellow one. Definitely. This one is a really vibrant purple and pink and this one. So. I've already made a start on our lovely Freya. And as you can see, I've been doing a sort of pansy design using my favorite purple and yellow one stroke. Um, a few leaves with the Halloweeny one. And then I've just been playing with an eye design on this side. So I thought I'd carry on where I left off. Um, I have to say, Chameleon is not my favourite brand. It's not my go-to brand. I much prefer DFX and uh, Global and brands like that. And that's mainly because, I don't know if it's just me, but I, I always have trouble getting the same opacity as you can see there. I don't know if it's the way I use the paints, but you can see I've had real trouble getting the, uh, the paint to, to stay opaque without showing brush strokes and I, and you know maybe it's just me and the way I use the paints but um but that's sort of my main reason that I would usually go for one of the other brands however this is a really nice palette and I am really enjoying it um so let's carry on with this one this is my sort of Halloween favorite and my daughter is obviously tidying up my appearance and I'm loading it up with a five eighths brush, angle brush, which means I'm not picking up the very lightest or the very darkest bit. I'm going across the middle. And there's a nice load there. And let's, uh, let's balance this design a little bit here with a few more little leaves, little squiggly bits. Give a few loops here. But as you can see, it's a really nice, like a turquoise going through to the deep purple here. And it's also the same colour. Close your eyes for me, darling. Same colour that I've used here. Which I'm going to try and deepen again. And going up onto the point just to streak it out there. And uh, let's use one more while we're here. And let's, let's use this one with this lovely bright pink here. Find a clean brush. Oh, this one will do. Brush 
This is another 5 8 This is one of the Aqualon brushes. Uh, this one came from Kazi Crafty, and I do really like these Aqualon brushes, I have to say. Um, right, so let's use this one with the nice bright pink. I mean, again, a bit like some of the Lian palettes. The combination of the neon colours with the solid colours or standard colours really works because uh, you get that pop of the neon. But as everyone knows, the neon colours on their own aren't very opaque and they don't tend to show up in, in, in normal light. So the fact that they're alongside white and other colours means that uh, they show up much better. So where should we go? Let's go down here. And see that? See the lovely cut? Really nice, two levels of purple. In fact, I think the, and that bit of neon pink. Let's turn back so you can see that in the light. That's a really gorgeous combination. And let me reload again. up on the toe of the brush and then swooping down to get the full breadth of the colours. All right, so as I'm having times whispered in my ear, pleasure my sweetheart, it's really just left for line work there. Um, the one thing I would say as with all the neon one strokes is as you can see, where the neons are next to the standard colours, the neons always seem to wear down faster. Uh, you can see it's happened there, and again with my favourite one, with the neon yellow, it started to wear down faster. So at some point you're going to have to refill. Um, but, but that is the same with all the brands. So yeah, I suppose to sum up, it's a lovely palette. I think the colour... The colours are absolutely gorgeous. For me, I would prefer it if it was, you know, a DFX or a global brand, just because I, I seem to have trouble with Chameleon, and I think that's just me because I know so many other people love the Chameleon brand. But um, I think, hopefully, what they will do is they will bring out the 30 gram versions of the bestsellers. So I would want to get the yellow, purple one, this one, this one, and probably that one again. I'm not sure if I would want to buy the whole palette more than once, just because I don't think all of the color combinations I'm going to use that often. Um, so you that's the problem with these big palettes, isn't it? Is that you end up finding you've got three or four favorites, and then there are a couple that you just never seem to end up using. Um, so yes, I'm hoping that they'll bring out a 30 gram version of this one in particular, but also uh, this one and that one. Um, but yeah, other than that, what can I say? Really nice palette, gorgeous, and, uh, and I'm certainly enjoying having it in my kit. Okay, comment below if there's anything else you want to know or anything else I can help you with, and I'm going to carry on with a bit of line work here. Thanks a lot.